Good after morning. It is not Wednesday, but it is a Thursday, my dudes, because things are changing up just a little bit within your buyer's guide. What I'm going to do on a weekly basis is just cover three or so news stories that I find noteworthy or things that are going to be major changes, uh, potential stuff for like clearance items for you guys to look out at, depending on what the brands, you know, like NVIDIA or the manufacturers are doing so that you know what to expect when it may or may not land or be happening and then give you basically depends on the week. Uh, at the moment, there's a lot of really good specials on. So I do have a full top 10 of like really good deals that I saw like on the clearance sale, for instance, that I can then suggest to you but we'll do a little bit of both so we'll give you some news in the beginning and then we'll give you the top 10 specials towards the end of the video alrighty so starting off with the news I have this page open very specifically because some of you may have noticed that there's now GDDR6X is going to be available on the 3060 Ti. What does that mean? It means a bandwidth increase from 14 gigabits to about nine gigabits uh, per second. And then an overall, I think it increases from 448 to just over 600 gigabits in bandwidth. So the result of that is probably going to be about a 10% uplift over previous generations. And it looks like in, from NVIDIA's side, at least that these are going to cost exactly the same to AIB partners. So MSI and Asus and co are going to be clearing out their current 3060 Ti stock, which is why there hasn't been 3060 Ti stock. It's because they're actually making preparation for the GDDR6 memory. So the price point should be relatively unaffected. And that's why those other GPUs were slightly cheaper. Do I think that they were much worse of a buy? No, they've still got 18% performance clear of where 2070 Super was, or like basically a 2080 Super for that sort of money. So now it's going to push it just even slightly further. And I think that's just from due to pressure from Team Red. Speaking of pressure from Team Red, the 7000 series stuff is starting to be teased by the ARB partners like Sapphire, who took to their Twitter just basically a day ago to tease their new RX 7900 series is going to come with the Nitro stuff. We are going to be seeing these uh, probably towards the end of the month uh, internationally. I don't know about them coming to South Africa with any sort of reasonable time period. As soon as I do have info up with those arrivals though, then I will try to feed it back to you through this channel and finally in some bad news it looks like the cost for wafer is going to be going up tsmc is going to be increasing their pricing into the 5nm nodes uh, based on this article it wasn't going to be as much as it previously we assumed it was going to be so it's going to be about six percent um where they were looking at nine percent previously but it means in the previous two generations that would be like 33 percent or 31 percent increase in price and the only company that's relatively unaffected by this is intel who make their own wafer every other company so amd nvidia on all of the other production houses get their wafer actually from TSMC. So we are going to see mobile phones as those go into the newer nodes become more expensive. So even though your performance is going to be better, you're going to be paying more for it. So we'll have to see where price first performance lands with that. And it probably means older generation stuff uh, being sold at a cheaper price to clear stock is going to be a lot more attractive. And that is it for the news. This week, I did manage to find actually hilariously 10, but I'm just going to select at random when I see stuff that looks good that I want to notify you about, then I'm just going to select those and put them in front of you. So starting off with some networking, it's an AC2900 from Asus. This is when they were doing their gaming crossover stuff. So you can see it like red accented and stuff, but the adaptive quality of service and the handling and stuff from this generation onwards was just world class. This is middle of them just winning PC Reader's Choice awards uh or, or, or you know just just winning people's choice awards in america en masse and if the americans can use this then you guys at home should be with actual education shouldn't have any issues they are really well built the internals are great comes with the what the fast if you need some extra ping relay delay reduction over to the internationals at number nine it's a gt301 bang for buck in this case is just astronomically good they normally are about closer to like almost twice this price like 1718 so yeah and they're kind of worth it at even one and a half grand so a grand for this case it's it's absolutely perfect it comes with the three fans up front comes with one at the back you can put your water cooling on top and you've got a fully laden fitted out case and number eight is Logitech G435s. These are just really, really good bang for buck. Normally at one and a half, I quite like them. So at one, two, they're just that much better. Bluetooth and 2.4 gigahertz, ultra lightweight, 
okay-ish mic. The mic is about the only thing on this headset that isn't good. Everything else is absolutely fantastic. It's kind of normal with wireless. The mics just kind of suck. At number seven, it's Western Digital with the old faithful 1TB NVMe. These are being brought down in price considerably and they come with a free copy of Battlefield 2042, which is actually worth playing now. So yeah, five year warranty, really good speed, really solid performance and honestly like bulletproof. These Western Digital drives right now just don't fail. And number six is Logitech with the G Pro X Super Lite. These are now down under two grand. They're normally two, one, two, two, about that price. So like 300, 200 rand, say 300 rand discount at the moment. Under two grand. Under two grand, this is probably the best mouse you can buy. Breaking into the top half at number five, Cooler Moss has just reduced the V1000 price even further. Now it's 2000 rand. Normally, I would say buying these at two and a half is already a good deal. So yeah, it's just even further reduced because of pressure from other brands. Thanks, Cooler Master. Appreciate you. Love your shade. At number four, it's Clev with a 2TB NVMe for 2,400 Rand. This is the best price I've seen on a drive of this size and the specification pretty much ever. Five-year local warranty, pretty much the max of Gen 3 as well. They top out at about 3,700. So this is very close to that. Five-year warranty. Five-year warranty. Five-year warranty. At number three, it's this MSI 2060 Super Ventus exactly the same performance as the rx 6600 they trade blows depending on the game but you get full set of rtx features and then you can use nvidia broadcast as i'm now to do my green screening and to control my mic you get all of that functionality just because it's an rtx gpu so between the two right now it's a no-brainer this is the one to buy in the number two spot it's my favorite budget upgrade kit right now x570p 16 gigs of the good 4000 megahertz cl19 vengeance kit as well and then a 5600 there's nothing more you could want at this price point and it gives you some upgrading and future proofing if you can i would say spring for the 32 gig this processor isn't going to inherently benefit a huge amount from that but if you're going to stream and game at the same time you would be able to stream through an rtx gpu pretty lossless with the setup if you have 32 gigs of ram literally exactly what my boy latches is streaming on right now is a 5600x and a 3070 ti and he uses the nvenc and so you don't have to overspend on this layer you can rather put more into the gpu get yourself something like a 3060 ti and then stream through that and then it gives you some future proofing and some upgrading because you can then later get like a second hand 5900x or 5950x 5950x if you're going to do multi-threaded it just gives you like a really solid platform nvme uh, pci express 4.0 support as well so if you want a pci express 4 nvme you can use that over here for gen 4 nvmes and stuff it's just got enough of the check marks that i'm still happy and at six and a half grand there's just nothing comparable right now and finally, the number one spot, it's basically the base platform for the giveaway PC with the 12700F in here. I've got a 12600K, so yeah, less cores, but more clock, et cetera, et cetera. In gaming, they sort of would work out to be pretty damn similar. Z690 board as well. So you've got all of the latest chipset stuff, you know, PC Express Gen 5, even support, et cetera, et cetera. It's just really nicely set up. Having worked with this board and stuff now, it's got really good basics and really good power phasing. That's the main thing. You can see the, the MOSFET setup and the VRM setup at the top over here. It's got more than enough power to push even like a 12900. So very good future proofing for yourself on this it's basically one of the best gaming platforms you can buy and at 11 and a half it just seems like a really really solid price and there's your news and buyers guide for this week as far as competitions go there's still the t3 fourth birthday giveaway so if you haven't entered that do jump in there EveTech is also running a competition currently with the SteelSeries TKL, their new TKL, which has removable switches as well, which I'm going to be releasing a review for you guys probably sometime on Saturday morning. Until then, hope you guys stay safe, keep well, and I will see you on the flip side. Yeah. Yeah.